Nottingham and Higher Falls Community Centre. Uh, we're here today to do the participatory budget event. That is asking members of the community to come in uh, to the community centre and vote for what they want in their estates. We're here to try and distribute £20,000 of the public money got to us by the police and get it onto various projects on the estate of Higher Falls. There's been lots of publicity and advertisement around them promoting what they want to do for the community to bring that community together. We've had open evenings, we spoke to people on the estate, we've managed to get 23 bids all in all. That's from people that have never had anything to do with any sort of funding or bidding before. They've come up with the fantastic ideas and we've helped them to process that up to the fact that it's down application form and they're here today. They've been invited to bid for monies through the participatory budget by listening to each and every presentation of every team that has got a project they want to run for this community. There's 23 of them and they've all got to go in the main room. Uh, they give a three minutes Dragon's Den type presentation and the people from the community that are in that room will vote there and then what they want on their estate. So it's really down to them. Hi, my name is Julie from the Community Garden of the Children of Ives and these are the children of the garden. My name is John Laird and I do work here at the Community Centre where I'm also with Billy Cheadle. We're here to submit to you a bid for a fishing group and activity. My name is Tom and I work for the Wigan Athletic Community Trust. So the Community Trust is the charitable arm of the club. Hi, I'm Miss Riley and this is Miss Taylor and we need you to vote for us so we, we can buy more bike racks for the children of St. Gabriel. I'm Kendra, one of the trainers from Juliet's Margaret's Morris Answers. My name's Anita Thorpe. I have put in a bid in order to set up a craft club for the children on the estate on Saturday afternoon. The girl guides were running beforehand, but they closed down for a few years, and I've recently started up a new unit in St. Gabriel's Church. Hi, my name's Sarah, and I'm the Alpha 26 with Brownie Guides. I run Brownies, which is here in the Community Centre and Catherine runs guides. We need funding to carry on. Brownies have been on the estate for 30 years doing the unit holidays that we do and all the badges that we give out and for insurance and rent, craft supplies, craft supplies drinks, everything. We are complete volunteers. We do not get paid for anything that we do. It's a bit better than a panel of judges that you don't know that have nothing to do with the estate, or the community or anything. It feels more hands-on. We get to decide. Yeah. It makes us all wiser to what's going on in the community rather than just seeing the odd poster here and there. Some things I've never actually heard of. Yeah. I didn't actually know that they were going on, so that's interesting. That's shown that there are actually things going on in this place. We actually know what's available for everybody. Hi, I'm Elizabeth and I'm a local artist with a background in health and social care. Projects I would like funding for is an intergenerational project that will bring a diverse cross-section of the community together. Hi, my name is Julie. I help out with the community garden. I'm the treasurer of Higher Falls Luncheon Club and we are a group who organise a lunch each Monday for senior citizens who are resident on the estate and the surrounding area. I'm representing the youth group here at Tire Falls today. And we're bidding to buy some fresh resources. Hi, I'm Paul from Cronies Falls. We want to inspire a generation of children to be physically active and healthy. Hi, I'm Danny. Um, I'm part of a group called Parent Voice. Um, we put on events for um, the children of Tire Falls to inspire them to be active and healthy. To set up a support group for parents of children on the autistic spectrum. I'm here today to put a bid in um, for a group that I want to set up, which is a support group to help parents of children with autism. Do you know I think it's amazing to be a part of a project like this? I just think I just think it's great, and you can see the real sense of community that we do actually have. I think a lot of council estates get get quite a bad name, really. And when you actually come down and come and see it, and see what we do and what we actually want to want to do, it's just great to be a part of it. Quite proud actually. We've got a band, it's lovely to see the young band as well and see a bit of brass, you know, brass band and I've got everybody moving and you're seeing neighbours as well, that's a nice thing. Neighbours that you just pass in the street and you nod at and you're actually managing to have a cup of tea and go, are you? You're okay? And that's, that's great, I love it. I just think it's fantastic and that we should have more, more of these kind of uh, projects, definitely. definitely.
definitely. Proud to be a part of it. Hello, I'm Hannah. I'm representing Family Gang today, which is an established group that's been going for about two years. We all know we have a meter. We decided to start like a little prize bingo type thing in the club. I'm here representing Golden Years. Now, Golden Years is our group for the over 55 of yesterday. My name's Kenny Flint, I'm the Activity Development Coordinator for Communities United Project. My name is Julie Robson, with my colleague Jane Ray, and we run the monthly drop-in group called Hope here at the Community Centre. My name's Keith Nicholson, and um, I'm three of the Lee Minor Rangers Juniors. Welcome everybody, we're glad to see you here. Yeah, at St. Catholic Today we will be discussing why you should have a What a fantastic turnout, Grace, well done. We've had some brilliant, brilliant projects. I mean, if two thirds of them succeed, they'll make a big difference. I have enjoyed it very much. Bear in mind, I used to be a policeman a long time ago, 20 years ago. We never had schemes like that when I was doing the job. This is brilliant, and this is about the police, the local authority, and the estate all working together in partnership, looking after each other. Okay. And instead of the council and the police telling the estate what they have to do, it's what would you like to do, and then supporting them to deliver. Now it's up to the community to vote on those uh, presentations that we've seen today. We want to make it a community event, so uh, we've invited everyone down with the children, We've got an entertainer, we've got a bouncy castle, we've got face paints, we've got a fire engine, we've got football skills. We're trying to make it, although there's a serious side to it, a, a really fun, happy, you know, good community, family fun day. Absolute tremendous support from several private companies, some of your local co-ops, your Tesco's, uh, your Morrison's, there's a barber shop, there's a florist, Noir, there's the local bakeries, Wakefield's, that have provided some of the food for today so that this event can go off as well as what it has done. We've been invited along by the uh, community police officers to work with Wigan Elite Arts College uh, to take a snapshot of the actual event itself and create it in a sort of live art workshop. So as the uh, event is going on, we're taking snapshots and elements from what's happening, all the various groups that have turned up and all the activities that have been laid on as well, and just trying to you know, show that through some artwork and hopefully show a little bit of um, the other kind of side of Wigan and Lee College and the art programme that we run there as well. Some of the ideas sound fantastic and there's obviously a lot of interest in, in a lot of the work that's going on in, in the community as well. To get everybody together and for everyone to hear all the different groups that are going on and you know, for everyone to have their own input on what can happen within the community, I think it's a really good idea. It's a really nice way to get everybody together and hopefully if it carries on, There'll be more of these events and more groups will come together and there'll be more activities for everyone to take part in. Well, I got recruited by my son because he's, uh, he was having a bit with his school, so and I, uh, I was interested anyway because I'd heard about it on the papers. It was quite an eye-opener. I was really impressed by all the initiatives that are going on on the estate. Really impressed and how many people put their own time in and uh, the vision that there's a lot of good vision for the youth and the elderly and in particular liked it when the speakers emphasise the relationships between one generation and the other. I have enjoyed it, thoroughly enjoyed it and I like the youth that was doing the band as well. Yeah. Thank you very much for who organised it, uh, everybody was all, um, involved in it. Yeah. I, I was very impressed. We've had lots of people turn up, the weather's not best ever but people are here, they've listened, fantastic presentations and people have voted and very shortly hopefully we'll have uh, some really good winners. The first of our winners is St Gabriel's Working, Growing, Digging Together. <laughs> St Gabriel's Safe Cycle. <laughs> the Youth Group. Premier Sport to St Gabriel. <laughs> Jigsaw. <laughs> Art of the Community. <laughs> Parent Voice to Hope. <laughs> the Community Allotments. <laughs> Family Gang. <laughs> Parent Voice. One winner is Golden Voice. 
golden years, man. Golden years. As we run out of money, these two are at exactly the same points on a tie. So, so the money is going to the first one is Higher Falls Sports and Social Club. And lastly, Hope. Those people who were not successful, who would like some more assistance and help taking their bids forward, please stay behind and we'll look after you as soon as we possibly can. We have got packs for you and we've got various workers here to sit down with the people that put those bids in and work with you to get the money you need. So today isn't the end, it's the start. I think everybody had agreed today's been a fantastic time for everybody. Yes, there will be some disappointed people in the room, but I, I can't reiterate enough what John's just said. Please stay behind, we will find you the funding that you need. Um, it's a fantastic effort from everyone, and I think that you need to give yourselves a big round of applause, and thank you very much. For the I had a bid for, to build a poppy tree with uh, residents of High Fall getting young and old together uh, to commemorate World War I. Um, I also had to carry on upcycling on the estate, run an upcycling workshop, trying to get people thinking outside the box instead of throwing things away, um, upcycling them, making household decorations and gifts. I got £550, uh, which is the full amount I asked for, which will pay for everything I need to get the poppy tree in place. And, Set up the workshops. I think it was brilliant. I think there should be more things like this going on. Uh, I think it's been fantastic for Air Falls and uh, it was a really good turnout today and uh, everyone seems to enjoy it and be happy with the results. We support families um, who've got children with autism or other related conditions. Me and Julie set up the group here in 2012. It's for the whole family, not just the child who's got the diagnosis so they can bring everybody as well with them so they don't have to look for any childcare for, the, for any of the other children that they may have. A lot of our children that come have sensory needs and that was one of the reasons we put in for the bid so that we can get a lot more sensory equipment so that when they come here they've got something that they can use. We won £1,380.75. Well, we're absolutely on the moon. <laughs> we've run the group since 2012 voluntarily, so we've run it with nothing. So to get this, it's absolutely fantastic. The atmosphere, the ambience, it's the, it's the buzz that's going out. The people are really enthused about it, you know, and, um, and I know the senior police officers here. They're absolutely astonished by the, by, by the buzz that's come off the estate. It's been a great honour for me to compare the event today and, and I'll support this estate and everything else in the Leo as much as I possibly can. I think it's fantastic. I, I think it's a, a massive opportunity for both the public sector, your local authority, the police, the community, the voluntary sectors to come together and make things happen. And this is an absolute evidence of how things can happen and communities can work together and do what they want to do to make it a safer and stronger place. So a massive thank you for the community, everybody who's got involved today, the private, the public, the voluntary sector who've made today happen an absolute superb day.